At first, this video was going to be mostly focused on Apple, but now Google Play stepped into the mix and at this point, who knows who else will step into the mix later on. Today I want to talk about a few things regarding Apple, Google Play, xCloud, and Fortnite. So first off, I do want to say that the whole Apple xCloud thing is absolutely stupid. If you don't know what xCloud is, it's basically Xbox's way of bringing their games to your mobile device through an app. And so far, Android is cool with it because, I mean, it's not anything bad, it's just another way to play games. But Apple's not cool with it because of TOS violations, apparently, because you can't review every single game on the app. Which, in and of itself, is a terrible excuse because uh, Netflix exists and you can't review every single movie on Netflix. So how are you going to allow one streaming service but not another one? People are saying that Apple's being greedy, that they think that this is going to cut into their mobile gaming business as a whole but the bad thing is the xCloud beta did release and people are playing it Apple users are very much upset about it and they're going to buy Android tablets now just to play xCloud games and like hey maybe they have something down the pipeline something that is similar to xCloud but just an Apple product where they can deliver games to you in the same sort of fashion because obviously these mobile companies are getting more and more into the gaming market and they're trying to move away from just Candy Crush type games and into the actual large scale video games that are AAA. But even still, I feel like they're going against a lot of people by doing this and it seems like they're being a little bit too competitive right now because hey, Google Play does the same thing. They have their own sort of like mobile game pass going on and they still allow the Xbox X Cloud to be a thing. And it's surprising to me because Google, the company that basically owns Android and also owns Google Stadia is allowing this. They own the rival to X Cloud and they're saying, hey, bring it on. So it just seems really anti-consumer to that Apple is blocking access to xCloud just because, well, some stupid TOS that doesn't make any sense at this point. But moving on into the next thing with Fortnite, it also brings in Google Play as one of the antagonists to the story. So Fortnite, Epic Games, wants to do a backdoor method for you to buy V-Bucks instead of going to the App Store to purchase them. And pretty much the way they did this is that they're going to make sure that you save money on your V-Bucks at the same time that they don't have to give these App Stores a cut of the money. And it's a little bit sketchy because some people think that it's a really shady tactic and other people just think it's really good for the consumer overall. And while I do understand the shady aspect of things, I have to say without a doubt, I don't disagree with what they're doing. Here's the thing, Fortnite is available, or at this point was available, on many different devices. You can play it basically anywhere. And with all these different platforms hosting their game, they're giving up a lot of that revenue 30% basically to each and every company that they have this deal with to put their game on their system or on the, the mobile device and that is 30% of the money for V bucks V bucks V bucks is just the currency it's not actual anything that has to do with the game but currency so it basically ensures that each and every cent that goes to Epic Games unless you're on the Epic Game Store or unless you're playing on PC but each and every cent goes through another company but here's the thing all these companies just do is sit there and rake in the cash they don't do anything they don't develop this game they don't work on the servers they don't do anything with the background but host the game they put it on their store and that's it that's it that's it's on their store and i feel like if you're going to give this money to this game i'd rather have it go to the developers rather than a place that just houses the games a, a marketplace basically now do i personally think that the marketplace doesn't deserve anything at all no i don't think that one bit but at the same time do i think that the marketplace deserves 30 percent of the cuts absolutely not and what i think epic games is doing is very much a chad move on their part because they are probably going to break in and try to get them to lower their percentages because as you know epic game store already has a very competitive price with 12 percent going to them and everything else going to developers and trust me that 18 percent difference is huge and one thing that reminded me of was the price jump that's supposedly supposed to happen when we go to the next gen so far we already know that nba 2k 21 is going to be 70 dollars on the 
next gen systems and hell it could be that same price for different games and with gaming already being so huge online and with people already downloading games like crazy i think that it's really smart to have most of this money go to the developers because having these studios work tirelessly on these games and only be able to get 70 percent of the cut of the 60 dollar price tag that really just doesn't sit right with me because think about this gta 5 is one of the best selling games of all time if not the best selling game at this point it's on like so many systems it's been out for such a long time it makes so much money and i think that the marketplaces for playstation and xbox are just raking in stacks on stacks on stacks based off of the microtransactions in that game is crazy because rockstar is the one that's constantly putting out new updates constantly making changes constantly adding a new content and they're only getting 70% of the cut for all the work that they put in. And I think I'd rather see these marketplaces take a hit on their revenue before I take a hit in my pocket on these games that are going to go up in price by 10 whole dollars. We have people out here who are only able to afford three or four games a year and with this price hike, it might go down to maybe two. And we always talk about how microtransactions are the thing that are going to make these companies more money but to think that a good chunk of that money isn't actually going to the developers and it's just going to the marketplace it just doesn't sound right so it does suck that apple and google play are taking fortnite off of their marketplace that is absolutely shitty but i have to say this if you have a pc or a ps4 a switch anything like that play fortnite on there because hey I, I haven't played fortnite in the longest time and i have no intention of going back but hey this story is interesting for other reasons and what i'm very much hoping is that these marketplaces take a bit of a hit and go down to something like maybe 15 percent hopefully 12 percent like the epic game store does but we will only be able to see it with due time and that's about it for today so go ahead and like the video if you like it don't forget to follow me on twitter where we can continue the conversation let me know if you guys think that epic games is being scummy for what they're doing or if it's a really good move and i will see you guys in the next one